Good morning. We did actually catch morning, or at least the last vestiges of it. <laughs> but uh, I get these little verses that come in my um, email. And I saw one rise as I was waking up this morning. It was just a little reminder. Uh, one of the big places in scripture where they just boil it down real simply and real complicated all at the same time. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 17, and I think it has a little bit of 18 there, but uh, it says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and um, give thanks in everything, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And you know, it sounds real simple, but those three things are, are really, really complicated sometimes. I don't know if it's just because we make it complicated or if, uh, you know, we just get so wrapped up and tied up that it just doesn't become a habit, you know. Uh, being positive, uh, starting out a day positively. You know, it, it it takes a little bit of work, um, but uh, rejoice always. That's not saying that we don't have times of mourning or sadness or, or times when things look kind of bleak or dark. It just means that ultimately we have something that even in the bad times, we have things that we can look forward to and things that go beyond. Um, pray without ceasing. Of course, you know, that's... Um, you're like, oh, I'm not closing my eyes and bowing my head while I'm driving down the road. Or, you know, let's not be silly about it. it what he's saying there is if prayer is a conversation with our loving Father, then we should just start a day with it and close each day with it but it's if I start a conversation with my friend I'm gonna you know we can pick up in that conversation at any point along the day and so that's what I tend to think about is that it's not always a formal thing of dear Lord, or like our Father who art in heaven, or anything like that, it's that, and we need to be respectful when we come to God, but the, the thing is, praying without ceasing means it should be a conversation that continues, you know, because He never leaves our side, He never totally forsakes us, I know sometimes we feel like we've lost Him, but, um, He's still there sometimes. Um, I've heard the example used quite a few times that, you know, the only time <laughs> in a classroom where the teacher is generally uh, silent is when you're going, taking the test, because they're evaluating how well you've learned the lesson. And so the same thing here with prayer uh, in our lives, when it seems like God is silent, it's probably because we're going through a trial or a test and um, he's seen if we've learned um, because he loves us and wants us to be able to do it uh, even when things seem bleak or things seem quiet and then last uh, give thanks and everything you know the other night uh, my son was excited about his birthday gifts and he left a stool out in the middle of the kitchen and I come around the corner and it had narrowed the walk space and I banged that pinky toe on it and I wasn't very thankful about that and I don't think we're supposed to have this Pollyanna thankfulness that oh oh thank god my tire went flat or thank god for this no but I am thankful that my son is healthy and was enjoying life and you know I wasn't thankful they made that mistake but I was thankful that he was there till next time